so another new frontier conquered for Mauricio Pochettino's Tottenham. The yellow walls are mounted and a yellow brick road opening up before them. Mauricio Pochettino is leading his Tottenham side on to new frontiers this season even while they are homeless and muzzled in the transfer market. Pochettino keeps inching this remarkable team forward season by season. He will now lead them into a Champions League quarterfinal for the first time in his reign, equaling the achievement of Harry Redknapp's side back in 2011. The next man to match is the great Bill Nicholson, who never ate kangaroo testicles on primetime ITV but was the only Tottenham manager to reach a European Cup semi-final, when Benfica inched out his double winners in 1962. This is a historically good Spurs team now, even without a trophy, to show for their consistent overachievement. Harry Kane celebrates as he fires Tottenham into the last eight of the Champions League. Bill Nicholson led Tottenham to the semi-finals of the European Cup the last time Tottenham got this far. They boasted Luka Modric, who'd go on to win the Ballon d'Or, Gareth Bale, who'd score one of the great Champions League final goals, and, of course, Redknapp, who'd become the king of the jungle. So equaling that little lot is no mean feat, especially when you haven't bought a single player for over a year and you're playing at an unloved Wembley while a new stadium remains mothballed. And once you get this far in a knockout tournament, you just never know. D. Jimmy Traore won the Champions League with Liverpool, Ryan Bertrand won one playing on the left wing for Chelsea. Mauricio Pochettino proud after Tottenham's tough Champions League display in Dortmund you really just never know. The fact that they arrived in Germany with a 3-0 first leg led could easily disguise exactly how good a European away performance this was from Spurs. This was no formality as Dortmund boss Lucien Favre named a death or glory lineup and hoped that Spurs might brick it in front of the Westfalen Stadion's world-famous wall. But Hugo Lloris, who seems to be either inspired or catastrophic these days with little middle ground, was outstanding with a string of first-half saves. Jan Vertonghen, magnificent as a wing back in the first leg, was immense again here as one of three centre backs. And Harry Kane netted a peach of a goal early in the second half to break Jermaine Defoe's Tottenham record with his 24th goal in European competition. Harry Redknapp helped Spurs to the last eight before helping himself to the king of the jungle prize that was the moment when Spurs knew they had this tie in the bag. They have faded out of the title race and are not certain of clinching a top-four berth yet, but this competition is surely the focus now for a club which values glory above all else. After all, Modric and Bale's current employers tumbled out to Ajax last night, and it does feel as though this year's field is more open than usual, that few of the big guns are boasting classic sides. Spurs have already gone to Barcelona and drawn. Bayern Munich are not a vintage side. Manchester City are familiar and not invincible. Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain have serious claims, but Spurs will not consider them impossible to overcome. Hugo Lloris was brilliant to deny Dortmund with a string of fine saves in the first half in London early yesterday. A couple of travelling Spurs fans were debating whether their trip was worth such an early alarm call, given their team's healthy first leg advantage. I remember when we were 3-0 up at halftime against Man United and lost 5-3, and that was with only 45 minutes to go, said one, and his mate nodded in sage agreement. But that classic capitulation was way back in 2001 and concepts of Spurziness have been largely banished since then, especially in the five years of Pochettino's reign. And while Tottenham's domestic form had been poor since that first leg wonder show at Wembley, Dortmund had been blowing their lead over Bayern Munich at the top of the Bundesliga. Vertonghen robbed Marco Royce with a mighty challenge after an early Davinson Sanchez slip-up had threatened to put the Germans right back into the tie. Spurs withstood all Dortmund could throw at them and now have the chance of making history. Loris and Kane were the heroes for Tottenham after their win in Dortmund. Then it was Loris time and again, from Royce, from Jadon Sancho, from Julian Weigel and from Mario Goza. It felt as though Dortmund needed to score before halftime to stand a genuine chance and it was all done and dusted three minutes after that interval.
Musa Sissoko, the lion, which and the bloody great wardrobe ball mixed into one footballer, sent Kane striding through with a gorgeous through ball. And the England captain caressed his shot past Roman Berkey with a touch of curl.